Avarian Teras. I've put you through more trouble than I'm worth. Sir Athelion! And I'm sorry for making you worry, Alina. None of that, please. I'm just glad you're back in one piece. As am I. As you can see, they barely even put a scratch in my armor. Thank the heavens, yes. Pardon me, Lady Rosalinda, but what would you have us do now? The Liberation Army fights for justice not only for Cornea, but for all subjugated lands of Fevereth. And so, we will repay the blood they've spilt in our name by joining them in their cause. As you command. We are most grateful for the support. I assure you, such bravery will not go unrewarded. Yet I must say, a human settlement is one of the last things I was expecting to find in Elheim. They sought refuge here when your kingdom first fell. <sighs> Though, of course, we could only offer them the briefest respite before we too were overrun. And you, Ethelion, what do you plan to do now? As long as your star shines for the liberation, Teras, mine too shall shine with it. Assuming you'll take me. There would be no greater honor. If I may, Sir Athelion, once the Noira is defeated and the war is won, will you return to this town? To me... You've shown me greater kindness than I ever thought possible. But there is no foe more terrible than the one we face now. I won't make a promise I may not be able to keep. Yes, of course. Know then that I'll be praying for your safety, just as I always have and just as I always will. Thank you, Elena. And may life treat you better than I have. <laughs>